The author of the bill, the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Posey, is recognized. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I am pleased the committee is considering our bipartisan, bicameral uh, legislation, H.R. 1508, the Space Resource Exploration and Utilization Act. Uh, thanks to you and your staff for helping refine this important legislation over the last year. Uh, Representative Derek Kilmer and I introduced this bill last Congress and again in March with additional support from several other members of this committee. I also appreciate the work and research of Senators Patty Murray and Marco Rubio to introduce identical legislation in the U.S. Senate. In crafting this legislation, House and Senate offices, Republican and Democrat, consulted the Federal Aviation Administration, the State Department, the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, House Legislative Council, and of course, the people in the commercial space industry. This six-page bill is very straightforward. It gives legal certainty to U.S. space companies um, that resources they obtain in outer space from an asteroid are the property of the entity that obtained them, period. Nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. Uh, let me emphasize this bill does not apply to planets or moons. It does not deal with ownership of asteroids in any way. Again, it clarifies that if a company mines resources from an asteroid in outer space, it has a right of ownership. Importantly, this bill is crafted to allow for and indeed encourage innovation. The bill establishes a legal framework for recognizing space property rights without micromanaging the specific ways this exciting new industry would unfold. Again, had today's FAA been president in the early 20th century, I have my doubts if the Wright brothers would have made it off the ground yet. <laughs> uh, we know asteroids can be excellent sources of highly valuable resources like rare minerals, uh, critical to our national security, uh, yet imported from abroad for the most part. Uh, for example, Russia and South Africa hold 97% of the platinum group metal reserves on this planet. Um, it's been claimed a single asteroid could contain more platinum than has ever been mined on Earth. Knowledge of asteroids, their number, location, composition, is increasing at a tremendous rate. Space technology has advanced to the point that the private sector is now able to begin exploring and developing resources in space. Americans are willing to invest in asteroid mining, but they want certainty that they can reap what they sow. So again, Mr. Chairman, uh, for today's markup, I ask for uh, the support of my colleagues for this common sense, bipartisan, well-vetted bill. And I yield back. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Posey. I think this is a much needed bill and appreciate his offering it.